good morning everybody happy may 5th uh i'm coming to you with my april wrap-up uh i'm sorry it's coming a little bit late but i was on vacation uh, i got back monday and then i just kept forgetting to film my april wrap-up i also have to film my may tbr <laughs> uh let's see for the month of April, I read about 24 books. That's right, 24 books. A mixture of audiobooks, mangas, and physical books, um, and uh, ebooks to, to audiobooks. I read a little bit of everything. So I'm going to start off. So the first book I finished was actually an audiobook I was listening for a long time and that was XOXO by Axio. I I enjoyed it. It was such a good audiobook. Um, so yeah, that was the first book I finished in the month. I then read one of my most anticipated reads for the month of April. I read The War of Two Queens uh, by Jennifer Amarjo. Um, as you can see, I tabbed it. Uh, I loved it. I gave it five stars. I am anxiously waiting for book five. Um, but I know in the meantime, I'll have the next book in, uh, the Flesh and Fire series, which is A Shadow and Ember. That's the prequel that takes place before the From Blood and Ash series. But I really, really enjoyed The War of Two Creeds. Um, and then I finished my first manga for the, the month. I read Hotaku. Um, I really enjoyed it. I'm excited to continue reading this series. Um, I then finished my reread of uh, is uh, Escaping from Houdini, which is book three in the Stock and Jack the Ripper series by Kia Mansicola. I really enjoyed it, and I couldn't put it down. Um, so I'm excited to continue with the series. I'm on the la I'm going to be on the last book, so I'm sad. Uh, I then read um, An incur Incurable Case of Love, Volume 2. Again, I found this series after watching the Japanese drama, and I loved it. So, I'm excited to continue on with the series. There's only seven volumes, so I'm excited to continue. Um... I then read volume three of Fruit Baskets. Loved it. Um, I then read volume four of Fruit Baskets. These are the collector's editions, which have the multiple version, multiple volumes inside one big volume. Um, so I enjoyed it. I then read um, City of Heavenly Fire with, by Cassandra Clare. This is the end of my reread of The Mortal Instruments. I do a reread of my favorite series, and so I reread City of Heavenly Fire. Uh, am I sad that it's over? Yes, but did I, did I still enjoy it? Also, yes. On to the next one. Um, I then read. Well, then I have to get to it. I read volumes 21 and 22 of Black Butler. I'm absolutely loving it, and I'm slowly but surely catching up to, um, I'm slowly but surely catching up to the manga. Uh, I then read volumes uh, 11 and 12 of Demon Slayer. This series has already finished, but I started reading it after I watched the first season of the show of the anime. I loved it, so I'm very excited to continue reading. So I read volumes 11 and 12. And I read volumes, volume 13 of Demon Slayer also. I then read Volumes 23, 24, and 25 of Black Butler. I absolutely loved it. Um, again, I've been really enjoying uh, being back in the world of Black Butler. Um, I watched the show, the anime at first, 
Um, then I decided, let me read the manga also. And so I've been reading the manga and I've been really enjoying it so far. Uh, what did I read afterwards? Oh, I read King of Battle and Blood by Scott Scarlett St. Clair. Um, she did the Tetraductive series, which I also really enjoyed. Um, and this came out this year, and I'm like, oh, let me give it a shot. And so I picked it up. I fell in love with it. Um, and then I listened to The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axio. I really enjoyed it. Um, I listened to the audiobook, so I'm very excited to pick up the physical book and read it physically. Um, I enjoyed it. It's the same author who did XOXO, so I've really enjoyed it. So, um, I then read Gallant by V.E. Schwab. I thought it was okay. I didn't fully love it. It was definitely something strange, but I, I, I obviously, I finished it. I gave it, I, think, I believe, three out of five stars, but I like V.E. Schwab. I then listened to Not Here to Be Liked, which is another audiobook. I enjoyed it. Um, it was definitely something different, um, but I did enjoy it. I then listened to uh, I Love You So Mochi. Um, I also really enjoyed that one. Um, and then I listened to Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover, and I really I fell in love with Colleen Hoover's writing. So I'm very excited to read more by her. Um, and then I picked up... Neon Gods by Katie Robert, and I absolutely loved this book. I loved it. The fact that I, after I bought this book, I went out and I bought the second book, which is Electric Idol. Um, so, I really, 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 really enjoyed reading this book. Uh, and then I read um, Eye and Widow. Uh, by Siren J. Zhao. I'm sorry I didn't if I didn't say it correctly. Um, so please correct me. Uh, but I picked this up. I started reading it one day and I finished it in a day because I could not put this book down. That's how much I enjoyed it. Um, so I'm very anxiously waiting for the second book to come out because I enjoyed this one so much. And those are all 24 books I read in the month of May. Um, I obviously did not finish my TBR, which I was okay with. I knew I wasn't going to really finish the TBR since I was going away on vacation. So, um, I still read a lot. I still enjoyed it. And so, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.